hello there and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Alex and I post beauty related videos um, so if you enjoy those types of videos then make sure you're subscribed and you put that notification bell on so you're notified every time I upload for today's video we're going to be doing a bit of a different one so as you can see I have eyelashes on and they are not strips they are like individual lashes so basically i go on holiday next month and i really want to get my lashes done because we're going to be for it's like a party holiday and i want my lashes done like so i don't have to faff around with them so i've had them done at the minute so before i go away i'll just get the infills and it'll be a bit of a quicker process anyway so today we are going to be focusing on the base i'm going to be showing you how to slay your base makeup using only drugstore products so before we get into it i just want to say i am pausing on the eyeshadow palette reviews just because i can't do them at the minute with these lashes on um i tried to do a look the other night it was okay but i just can't do it properly because obviously the lashes get in the way so that's why we're doing this video and my videos over the next few weeks are sort of gonna be not palette reviews focused does does that make sense probably not right so we're gonna get straight in with it we are gonna go in with our first step which is primer i've dropped something already i've been filming for like three minutes i've dropped something already i swear someone needs to make a compilation of me just dropping things because i swear i do it in every single video so as you would have seen in my full face of MUA Cosmetics, um, I got the Pro Base Banana Blur Primer. Um, so we're going to be using this today because I actually really enjoyed it. I actually really don't like the scent of this. Sorry, I've zoomed in because you couldn't see properly. Um, so that's the primer on. Um, to go with the primer, I'm going to be using the MUA Pro Base Longwear Matte Foundation because as you know by that video as well, this is one of my favourites. So yeah, as you can see, this foundation has a really nice coverage. This foundation is not super full coverage. Um, if you want a super full coverage, I would suggest the Maybelline Superstay. That is amazing. Um, that's double the price of this foundation though. Um, and also the Revolution foundations, the Conceal and Define Conceal and Hydrate have amazing form. Um, amazing formulas well they do but amazing at coverage as well so we just want a really nice coverage foundation to make your base look flawless um so we're gonna now move on to concealer and this is a revolution product this is the new revolution conceal and hydrate uh, concealer it's like got hyaluronic acid and acai whatever that is so i chose this one because it has really really good coverage on it um, and it's nice and hydrating for under the eyes. So that's the concealer on. As you can see, again, the concealer has really, really nice coverage. It's really brightening under the eyes. Um, I don't really look dry anywhere apart from a little bit on my nose. But I'm hoping when obviously I put everything else on top, it won't do that. So for powder, we're gonna, we're gonna need to take a, a loose powder just to set the under eyes and then set the rest of our face because we want a nice canvas to work with when we contour and bronze and highlight, etc. Um, so I'm just taking the Rimmel Match Perfection, Perfection Loose Powder. Do you remember when I used to hate this? And then do you remember when I started loving it? So yeah, I still love it. Um, so we're gonna take this one um this is really messy like the packaging is awful it's like the revolution one where there's like nothing stopping it from flying everywhere um so i'm just gonna uh, set my under eyes with this and then i'm gonna set the rest of my face Okay, 
okay now we've got my powder on as you can see my fa face is like full coverage like covered um so now all of that is down i'm just going to switch my face because my face is obviously caked in powder and i'm going to take the makeup obsession dewy skin fix dewy fix dewy makeup setting spray next we're going to go in with bronzer and today we're going to be using the physicians form up butter bronzer you can get in the uk now i love this bronzer obviously because i've hit pan on it um so we're going to take a little bit of this and we're just going to bronze up our face because we're looking a little pal So I just went off camera and done my brows because they were disappearing in all that foundation. Um, but next up is contouring and this is probably like a vital step in how to like slay your face. Sorry, that word is so cringe. But you know what I mean, how to like beat your face, how to slay it, how to cut it and look really good. So anyway, today we're going to be using the Revolution Roxy uh, Contour and Highlight Palette just because I have not stopped using this since it launched. Um, so I'm going to be going in with this shade here for my contour. And what you want to do is like small brush strokes right here where your cheekbone is. If you go too low it doesn't give the effect of having like high cheekbones so if you keep it up like this so when you, I look forward you can see it like <laughs> sucks my cheeks in do you know what I mean so as long as you keep it like not, not as high as where you put your highlight because your highlight goes right here but just so you have the clean line like right here in just just above the middle of your face and then the exact same on this side so as you can see this side looks way more like sucked in than this side this side just looks really flat um, and this just gives a nice contoured effect And then when you go around the forehead, just keep it really nice and close to your forehead line to give the appearance of a smaller forehead, which is what I need. And then some people contour their nose. I do, but I don't do it properly. Like James Charles contour, no. Um, I take I literally the same brush I'm using. People do take like a smaller brush to run it down the sides. But to be fair, I'm not really that like fast of my nose. So when I contour it, I just make sure I keep it like right at the tip of my nose and then brush it along the bottom. Um, and try not to go like really far down if you just keep it as close to the top as possible that will give the effect of like a smaller snatched nose obviously if you want to do it more in detail then go in with like a thin brush and do it um i think that's what the jeffree star brush this one here uh, is use is actually meant to be for meant to be for meant to be for anyway um what one is this this is the js3 um so it's a similar brush like this and then you just focus it it just helps you concentrate the line a bit better and make sure you're putting it sort of in the right place if you like so the next part of this video is my obviously favorite part um so now we're going to be highlighting and for highlighting i have got another revolution product i'm very sorry um but it is my favorite highlighter product in the world even up against high end um this is the revolution soap highlighter palette um you can obviously tell what my favorite shade is this one um but recently i've been going in with this gold shade this shade here is nice for winter when i'm like super pal um but i do really like this one as well because it just looks a bit more like 
like you but that's basically my skin color so it blends in properly whereas this is like a cast of like blinding white highlight so today we're going to be going in with this gold one and if needs be i'll go on top with another one obviously because it's me and i love highlighting so i will come in with as much highlighter as needs be so i take you know quite a lot of this obviously if you're not into blinding highlighters then just use one you know is super natural looking but on this channel we don't do natural looking highlighters i'm very sorry <laughs> and then with the highlighter just concentrate it right at the tip of your highlighter so you can see the, the contour has the snatch effect and then this highlighter beaming at the top shows it that it shows that it's more like snatch in because this is obviously a highlighter highlighted point i'm not very good at explaining things but i mean hopefully you're getting what i'm saying um so like the more you build on it it just looks nice and then i like to just highlight up around here because i'm just so extra with highlighter um so i'm just doing the same on the other side And then I also con uh, contour, I also highlight my nose. That is very much, that is loads. Right in the middle of my nose. So that gives also the snatched effect because you've got the contour either side and the highlight down the middle. Um, so just keep it nice and straight in the middle. And then some people actually highlight up here. I think it's to give like a nose job effect sort of look. I don't really know. And then my cupid bowl. Just to make your like lip, top lip look a little bit bigger. And then the last product for this video, I'm going to be using the Revolution Blush um, in the shade Peaches and Cream. It's a beautiful nude, not nude, that is pink, but like a, a peachy nude pinky sort of highlight um so i'm just gonna take this on a brush and i'm going to put this sort of in the middle of my highlight and blush uh, highlight and contour and like blend it in between the two Um, so yeah sorry and then we do actually need to go back in with this spray so I've got the Obsession Dewy Fix Spray so guys I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's a bit of a mess I'm not a professional I don't know you know I'm not a, make, like a professional makeup artist I'm not 100% sure of what I'm doing and what I'm saying is right I just thought I'd show you my like go to full coverage drugstore you know the full shebang makeup um, just something so we didn't focus on the eyes um, just because I know I've been doing a lot of eyeshadow palette reviews lately um, and also I can't do as much at the minute because my lashes but I hope you really enjoy this look I hope this is somewhat helpful educational you know if some of the products you've never seen before and you've seen it today and thought oh wow it actually really works nicely um, but every product I've used in this video I absolutely love and would not recommend enough or could not recommend enough um, so I really do hope you've enjoyed this video and um, if you did let me know down below obviously I'm not 100% sure if this is a good video idea I just thought a video to how to slay your base you know because i mean i'm pretty sure this looks really good so just let me know down below what you think if you have any more video ideas that are not necessarily like eye related any whether that's makeup lifestyle i've got a few ideas um to do and i'm hoping to do them so make sure you follow me on my socials make sure you check my like community posts as well because i do ask you like, guys a lot of questions and on my instagram as well so make sure you are following all of those um but that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a massive thumbs up because that really helps me out um, and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye